Oh, and happy Friday. Today's reading, it's September 6th, and it is out of In God's Care. The feeling remains that God is on the journey too. Teresa of Avila. None of us are strangers to feeling hopeless. Perhaps it was last year or maybe last week. Hopelessness was with us often before we turned to this program, this recovery program for help. It is not unusual for us to sometimes feel we can't handle the changes and the stress in our life. Fortunately, with the help we give and receive from others, we are coming to believe that God never gives us more than we can handle. The situation isn't hopeless when we turn to trusted friends and our higher power for direction and understanding. The paradox is that hopeless feelings can trigger a far better relationship with our higher power. And the more significant that relationship is to us, the more peaceful every day promises to be. Through practicing, turning to God for direction, we discover a serenity we have never known and an attitude of hope. I will rely on God's loving care today and feel serene and hopeful as a result. So this relationship that we speak of with our higher power and and the hopelessness that we can feel. I mean, they call it the gift of de desperation, I've heard at the tables, and um, G-O-D, gift of desperation, and I certainly had that. And I did not believe in God, and I did not believe in higher power, and I did not. I was averse to it, which many people are. And in the program, they asked me to rely on this higher power and to stop my self-will, right? To stop running on self-will, what I wanted, and really just to do right action and the results would follow. And somehow, some way, my life started to change. And it was magic. It was magic. It was easier. I could breathe. And now that I'm in a, a situation that is difficult and a little bit scary, I have never been closer to my higher power. I've never relied more on this relationship. And I do think it's a gift of desperation. And I'm not desperate. But the hopelessness and the fear and the feelings that come with change and, and um, not knowing are here. However, I just keep relying on, on, on this this higher power, this energy, this, this, this life, right? This force that's inside of me. I keep relying on it for some reason, and I don't know why, um, but I just keep taking action, right? I keep taking action, and things unfold, and things have been unfolding, and it's been, it's been brilliant, and it's been beautiful, and it hasn't been easy, but it's been real, and I have a faith that I've never had before. And it's not a faith like I ever thought of faith. It's not a, um, it's nothing like I've ever experienced or thought that a relationship with higher power God, whatever you want to call it, it's not, it's not what I thought it was. I thought it was just like giving up who you are, right? I thought it was, oh, giving up everything that you are and all your thoughts, and and that's not it. When I when I lean into that, all these things, these thoughts, these feelings, these intuitions, these words, this small soft voice, comes from inside, and it's so fulfilling. I, it's hard to describe in words. It really truly is hard to describe in words, but I will tell you that it's working. And it is giving me fuel to move, even though there is fear. So the faith is bigger than the fear. Bigger. Faith. Fear. <laughs> I'm just grateful. I'm simply grateful, and I'm grateful to be here, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Namaste.